hello everyone i'm back with another video after a very long time and a lot has happened in between as we all know the world is going through a critical moment and we are all dealing with uh, these difficult times and trying to adjust to our new normals um, at, at one point during this whole quarantine lockdown system uh, it seemed like pointless to even think about shopping except the basic essentials it still does but um, you know the life has to move on and we have to find our own little happy moments so we keep moving forward and um, we have to live by our hope you know that one day everything's gonna get back to normal the way it was uh, and things are gonna be just fine so um, uh, just uh, one more thing I wanna say and then I'll start with the, this bag that I have here um, that uh, we like everybody else I do appreciate all the first responders who are doing such a great job uh, in dealing with COVID-19 and um, um, keep praying to God and keep keep everybody who's affected by this um, negatively in any way keep them in our prayers and um, um, hope that the families who've lost loved ones are also um, able to deal with, with their losses and are blessed by God so um, uh, let's get on with the, the today's topic which is this hobo bag and um, I'm going to show you obviously what the bag is I just want to mention that uh, it, it is a sort of belated Mother's Day gift um, and uh, um, part of the, the fun in getting a new bag is that you go in stores and you look around and you I like that process going physically in a store and you know looking at bags and then deciding even though I, sometimes I end up buying it online but I, I still like that initial part going in stores looking at bags touching them feeling them you know that whole thing but that didn't happen this time of course so um, so anyways let's start with this bag what this bag is um, it is a shoulder bag, as you can tell. Um, so here it is. Some, some of you might have guessed that it's going to be a black bag, because that's my like go-to color. Um, I really like this finish on the bag. It's not patent leather but it's this shiny soft material that feels like smooth buttery kind of material I, I don't know what the finish is called um so here is the full profile um so this is the i don't think there's a front or back there's a one big pocket on each side you could put a lot in that and like you know easy access keys phones um those sort of things yeah. okay that was the paper for the magnetic clasp here um, this pocket's pretty deep goes all the way down and same thing on this side For the magnetic glass, they put this paper thingy. The same, I think, same depth and width of the pocket as the other side. I I really like the uh, this lining print. I've seen that on many bags, um, even on wallets. So here is a zipper pull. I think it is leather. The zipper pull is leather. And it is brown, just like the handle, same color. It's 
hard to open the bag with one hand. Okay, let's look inside. Here is the, the Hobo logo. And one inside zipper pocket. Good size. And another pocket outside of it. I think I got a piece stuff in it. So, here is the tag. What was the original price? Two twenty-eight. Uh, yes, the original price was two twenty-eight, but I got a discounted price. I was gonna talk about that a little later. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that in the end. So let's just look in the bag first. I showed you on this side. There is the zippered pocket and another pocket underneath it. And on this side, there are two, two pockets. These two. And uh, I don't know if my phone will fit in there. You see, I don't see wide enough, but I can certainly put like a key or something like that. Coupons. Oh, no. uh, hand sanitizer, which is a necessity these days. And, um, yeah, in one main compartment. And here we are. Uh, so, overall, it's not a big, big, spacious bag, but it's like, I would call it in a medium category. Uh, two, two big size pockets on each side. And one big compartment. And total of four four pockets inside. So let's take the covering off of the handle. So here is the handle. Same brown leather as the zipper pole I showed you earlier. Um, same material. So that's the same material. Um, the hardware is gold. I really like kind of matte uh, goldeny finish, gold goldish finish. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy with the look of the bag, black and dark brown, and the finish, the touch, the space, I like everything. Um, the drop of the bag is about 10 to 12 inches. As you can see. So I think it's perfect for my uh, petite size. And I think I'm gonna enjoy wearing this. So, okay, the price. The original price was to. 28 but they were having some kind of sale and uh, so I used that discount and uh, the, the discount code was given right there and uh, I ended up paying about $180 total so I think that's a good deal on this bag and uh, I might like smooth the, the wrinkles on the shoulder strap so like it's not on bendy like this and other than that I think it's ready to go so I'm very happy with this purchase and uh, um, I hope you like the video and hopefully um, I will be back soon I say that every time but uh, there's always a gap uh, it's hard to predict when I w would upload another video there's always something coming up and in my um, family life, personal life, that I won't go in detail. Um, but hopefully, there's always a hope. So, see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please take care and pray. Uh, all the best. Bye-bye.